Intellectual property rights provide certain exclusive rights to inventors or creators of intellectual property in order to enable them to reap commercial benefits from their creative efforts or reputation. Africa often lags behind in protecting its intellectual property, necessitating awareness campaigns and facilitation for inventors and innovators on the continent. The African Intellectual Property Rights and Innovation, AFRIPA, is helping African inventors and innovators protect their intellectual property rights in Zimbabwe. AFRIPA project manager Ida Galindo told the Mint at the recently ended Zimbabwe International Trade Fair of the initiatives they are taking to assist both innovators and, inno and, <laughs> and inventors in Zimbabwe. AFRIPI is a project funded and implemented by the European Union, in particular the European Union Intellectual Property Office, and uh, we support the 55 countries in Africa, so it's a pan-African uh, um, project, and uh, we are honored to be based in uh, Harare, Zimbabwe, at Aripo premises. This year in Zimbabwe, we had a very nice celebration in partnership with the government of Zimbabwe and Aripo, the uh, Regional Intellectual Property Office for Africa, and we did a march in Bulawayo uh, to raise awareness on the importance of IP, then we had uh, some uh, speakers, and the theme this year, as I said, celebrated all around the world, is women. So that's why we wanted to, to raise awareness, not only on the importance of intellectual property, but on the key importance and potential of women on IP. Unfortunately, you know that 52% of population is women, but if we look into the data, on how many uh, registration of patents or other intellectual property rights are done by women, the percentage are extremely low. So we see a huge potential and we raise awareness on women. We can do it. We have to raise all our potential on IP as well as on other areas of, of, of no. course, but sure on IP for this day. Ida highlighted the existence of a knowledge gap on intellectual property rights in Africa. And she said that FIPA is working in collaboration with various organizations to raise awareness on this critically important subject. We see uh, this shortfall of not really uh, getting the message maybe to the general public. So in our project, uh, AFRIPI, as I said, covering 55 uh, African countries, we have a component specifically on raising awareness and supporting SMEs. As such, we have a beautiful uh, service called the Help Desk, completely free of charge, with all our IP experts able to support SMEs who want to know more on how to protect their IP. When we talk about IP, we say about trademarks, patents, um, geographical indications, um, industrial designs, I mean there is even plant breeders rights, there is a big variety of intellectual property. But what we have to think about intellectual property is that you work very hard to develop your brand, your reputation, and you have to protect it. Because if it's not protected, anyone else can rasp all your hard work over the years and use your name. So that's why it's very important to open businesses, to work hard to get uh, clients, but it's also very important since the beginning to register your brand, your trademark, to have it properly uh, protected. And that's why we are here to help, completely free of charge. We have uh, materials uh, free to download, we have trainings, we do one-to-one -one consultations. That's why we are here today on this trade fair, because we want to get close to the SMEs all over the world, I mean, African or even European businesses who want to invest in Africa, because the ultimate goal we have is to promote investment and leverage economy in Africa by supporting IP. Right, let me be clear, innovation and creativity are the core drivers of sustainable economic development, and intellectual property rights are the key tools to generate value from intangible.